What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been a minute since I've seen you guys again. Life's been busy. I've been working hard. I haven't had a whole lot of time to make a bunch of videos, but we're back. We've been in a standstill with the channel. I'm gonna try to keep getting back to making videos every single week for you guys, but today's topic is what should my next truck be? Okay, I'm kind of, I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I know I've been talking about building it this way, building it that way, but I'm kind of bored of this truck. Okay, I am, honestly. I want something different. I like change, I like having different vehicles. So today is really about what should my next truck be or should I keep the truck and get a daily driver that we can build out as well. So, welcome back you guys, let's get rolling. With a special guest appearance today, we have Mr. Ranger Danger. All right, buddy, come on. Let's go show them what kind of truck that we think we should get, and then we can show them what kind of truck that you might want to get for your next vehicle to go on travel trips in, okay? Let's go show them. We got to go jump on the computer. Come on. All right. I'm going to show you guys exactly what trucks we want to get. All right, you guys. So I have up here couple different trucks that I am actually interested in and they're probably not going to surprise you at all of what I want but I'm going to show you guys the three different trucks that I'm kind of looking at and I really can't make up my mind so I kind of want some help from you guys I would love for you to drop down in the comments which truck you think I should buy okay so the first one that we're going to look at right here is let's see can you see this I have to get it closer for you guys. A Ford Raptor, okay? I know, so freaking basic. This is like basic white guy, 20 some odd year old truck. If we're gonna build some sort of Baja type vehicle, we might as well start with the platform that already is built for some sort of Baja type vehicle, okay? This is a dealership over by me, but this is one of the first things that I've definitely considered buying. Reason being is I don't tow all that much and a Raptor would actually be like basically the perfect truck for me because I can still tow things when I need to and when I do tow things I never tow them far 20-30 minutes max and the tow rating on this is plenty for what I would want. So Raptor is kind of number one on my list. Um, I know again basic truck but super cool guys we could build it out to be something sweet the next truck on the list and i will put a bigger picture up of this for you guys what i'm looking at is an f-250 okay again i just like fords and i just really i don't know i don't need a diesel okay i just really like the look of an f-250 however this one is a diesel and it is sweet i mean look at this I love this color combo, the black and the like brownish color that they have, the two-tone. Love the interior color of this. It's got that orangish, but this is another truck that's on my list, okay? And the reason being is just when you deck these things out, they look absolutely sick. I mean, they are so cool. And uh, maybe if I had a truck that could pull more, maybe I'd go buy more toys that I would need this kind of truck for. I really don't know um, what's to come with that, but this is another truck that's on the list. And the next one is not gonna surprise you whatsoever because it's the same exact truck, but the gas version, okay? I have heard so many horror stories of how expensive diesels can be to repair. And I know these Fords have their fair share of issue. I know every brand does, uh, but this is a gas F-250. Now people are gonna make fun of me for it. People always seem to do that in the truck community, but yeah, whatever, okay? a gas F-250, it would be almost perfect for me. It doesn't quite tow just as much. I mean, the body and frame can obviously handle it, but engine-wise, it'll be a little more rough. Um, but it would just make more sense. I don't have the diesel maintenance. Granted, I don't get the mileage, but I just don't have that maintenance. And I don't have diesel prices either because they are astronomical right now. Maybe one day when they go back down, it would make more sense to have a diesel, but that's just, that's just the thing. So that is what, after the Raptor, I would ideally want, I think the diesel 250 is last on my list, but definitely a King Ranch trim. If we're going to go a 250, we're definitely going to get 
a King Ranch trim, okay? All right, you guys. So those are the three different trucks that I have been considering getting. I want you to tell me below again, which ones you think I should get. But I've also considered keeping mine, continuing the build over a long period of time and getting a daily driver. And I'll drop a closer picture for this thing as well. The reason why I'm thinking about getting this because with how much driving I do when it comes to real estate, how many houses I show, I need something a little bit better on gas. I know my truck is fairly decent, but having a nice little car, keep the mileage off the truck, having something reliable. I know it's a Lexus, but it's basically a Toyota. And as long as you maintain it, these things will keep running for a while. Um, but that's kind of what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of a Lexus IS250, IS350, something along the lines of that, something a little sporty and luxurious. That way we can kind of do some stuff to it as well. Um, I know most of you guys are probably gonna say get the truck and trust me, that's what I really want to do. Truck prices are just astronomical right now, but I do want something else. So again, comment below, not only just which truck you think I should get, but if you think I should keep it and get a daily driver instead, uh, I'm really interested to know what you guys are thinking because uh, I really don't know what I'm thinking. I kind of want some help from you guys making that decision, okay? All right, so after all that, I need you guys to do me a favor. Better yet, no, I need you guys to do yourself a favor. Hit the subscribe button and the bell notification if you like what you're seeing, but whether you like it or not, just hit the subscribe button, okay? I can see who does and who does not subscribe to the channel when you watch the video. So hit it, just do it, do yourself a favor. Make sure you guys comment below what you think I should do and thank you so much for tuning in to today's video and stay tuned for the next one. I think you're gonna like it. We're gonna take a little trip somewhere and we're gonna put a montage together. So keep your eye out for our next video. It might be a little bit, but we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.